today we're going to talk about the difference between delivering in the hood and delivering in the suburbs reason number one is going to be safety you're more likely to get robbed in the hood versus the suburbs open up the bay doors take some beer pick what they want go inside your actual truck steal your check steal your lunch steal your apparel leads me to number two being able to leave your bay door opens if you're in a rush and you're in a hurry opening up each bay door every time you go in and out the store can waste a lot of time in the suburbs you can most likely leave your bay door open in the hood you leave your bay door open you're giving away free beer reason number three generosity not even a reason but the difference of number three and generosity is that in the suburbs the store owner or the store clerk will give you free food from the business in the hood they're going to give you free food but it's going to be home cooked food that they're sharing with you from their lunch and both suburbs and hood do uh share drinks from the business but that's the difference home cooked food and store made food before i continue please go like subscribe share uh share with somebody that would like to be a beer delivery driver so they know what's going on in advance number four customers customers are different in the suburbs and the hood in the suburbs i'll see people uh coming in in the morning leaving to go uh get their coffee and leaving to go to work or i might see them at the end of their work day coming in and everybody else in between in the hood i see the same people there every day most likely they're not going to work they're they're standing out there they're chilling and so you get to know them personally you really get to know them and um you see them every day and um you know surprisingly they respect your work they always say things like hey man i see you getting it in what's up bro you you putting in that work like share subscribe four or five packages in the suburbs i drop off 24 packs and 12 packs mostly in the hood i drop off a lot of single cans 24 ounce single can number six at least where i'm from less stores more cases less stores more cases in the hood in the suburbs you're dealing with a lot of restaurants and then when you deliver at a lot of restaurants a lot of them are not taking a lot of cases they might be taking a few kegs and a few cases and for commission you're not going to be making much if you only drop off a few cases of product so that means i need to deliver to more stores so I'll, i can have up to 40 stores but still not have a lot of cases in the hood i'm dropping off to a store 50 to 100 cases and majority of it is single can 24 ounce so i'm making a lot of commission on one store so i have less stores to go number seven the terrain in the suburbs when the snow and the snowstorm that's going to be cleared out it's going to be plowed it's going to be moved out the way so when you're using your hand cart it's going to be it's going to be you know pretty smooth for you to move this product without having a problem of almost spilling it over but in the hood oh my the terrain is horrible snow or not the parking lot is not taken care of it, it can be broken up have holes in the ground and then on top of that when the snow come the plow man might not show up by the time you deliver so the parking lot is horrible and what's crazy about that is that when the snow come it's actually a little bit easier since you got the snow filling the holes on the ground making it a little bit more level number eight the customer store owner or store clerk relationship um they have respect a different kind of respect they have manners they're well mannered they speak respectful to each other and they have you know a mutual respect which they have a relationship where they like each other you know in the hood it's completely different the respect is different um they're using a lot of cuss words with each other they're even actually talking down on each other but they do still love each other for example a customer might come in and say dude you charging way too effing much for this product i can get it down the store for 50 cents less and the store owner or the customer clerk might say f you get out so i hope to help you out a lot like share subscribe if you have any questions put them in the comment comment below and i will be happy to answer them thank you